This is Philip Jalango, the director National Squads and Elite Performance, perhaps doing it to the termination of Mike Friday's contract as Kenya Sevens coach. Today, the rugby fraternity was shocked with the decision he took to single-handedly sack Mike Friday and Chris Brown. In a statement to newsrooms, Jalango said the KRU is terminating the contract of Mike Friday as Kenya Sevens head coach and Chris Brown as the strength and conditioning coach with immediate effect. He goes further to say the decision is not based solely on wins and losses but a number of factors by which the head coach has been evaluated. With the sack in Kenya Sevens assistant coach, Felix Ocheng was appointed as interim head coach with Bronson Wire from Western Province as his assistant. However, Jalango's decision did not last long as Kerry chairman Mwangi Mude reversed the sack in saying Mike Friday is still Kenya Sevens head coach and any correspondence from Philip Jalango to be treated as a rumor. He further on went to fire Philip Jalango. Jalango was also behind the suspension of Collins in Jera from the National Sevens team during the club versus Union Wars. The sacking of Mike Friday and Chris Brown came as a shock to Kenyans, especially after the team's outstanding performance all season. Out of the nine season legs, Mike Friday has guided Kenya into four semi finals one cup final in Wellington, three ball appearances, and one shield final. With the season ending in London yesterday, Kenya finished fifth overall in the IRB while standing with 99 points, the highest ever point tally. The the target was 100 points from 10 tournaments, meaning 10 points per tournament. But with the cancellation of Argentina, Kenya Sevens have beat the target of 90 points by 9 points. Mike Friday says the boys have massively outplayed themselves this season. For JSW at 7, I'm Michelle Katami.